Hey, welcome to Mr. Kemp's Instrument Videos. I'm Mr. Kemp. And let's get started. A uh, few things that I want to talk about that, that go for all of the instruments. Uh, first thing I just did a minute ago is I just came back from washing my hands. You don't want to pick, pick up and start playing a nice instrument when your hands are all dirty. So be sure to wash your hands. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have a nice place to sit. A nice hard chair. Uh, maybe a kitchen chair or something like that. This is what, you, what you're going to want. You don't want to go uh, to your bedroom and sit in your bed or sit on your couch and you know, you'll be playing like this. Something soft like this, no good. Nice hard chair. When you sit down in your chair to play, you don't want to be sitting back here. You want to sit up nice and tall at the edge of your chair, two feet flat on the floor, ready to play. Okay? Uh, another thing is you don't want the television set on in the background. You know, keep everything quiet and give yourself a nice place to work. All right, uh, something you'll hear me say all year long. Music does not happen by magic. It takes hard work. We're going to be working very hard this year. We're going to have a lot of fun. And if you work hard this year, we will have fun. You'll make beautiful, beautiful, magical music. But nobody's going to wave a magic wand and say, poof, you suddenly know how to play an instrument. This will take hard work. Are you ready for it? All right, let's start having some fun and let's, let's uh, get into our lesson, our first lesson for playing your instrument. All right, we're ready to learn how to play baritone horn. First rule is we always take the baritone horn case and we put it on the floor. So always on the floor, we're not going to, it's a big instrument, we're probably not going to put this one on a lap anyway. But uh, we want to make sure that it's the right way. If the handle is on the bottom part of the case, and the latches are pulling upward like this, then we probably have it correct. We don't want to open the case up upside down, and then a bare tone horn is going to be flopping around. Make sure you unlatch all of the, all of the latches. Some of them might be around the sides. And then we can open up the bare tone horn. And I see two pieces. I see, I see uh, well, right now I only see one piece. I see this big whole bare tone horn. But then in this little compartment here, I have my mouthpiece. And if I ask you, gee, what is the most important part of my baritone horn right now? The answer should be the mouthpiece. This is what we're going to start with. Uh, this is our most important piece. So I'm going to leave the baritone horn down there. And in the first five minutes of practicing, this is all that you should work with. This is even, even professional baritone players. They're going to always start their day off and they're practicing off with just their mouthpiece. Now, what is it made of? Well, this is made of hard, hard metal. The baritone horn. It's all very hard metal. Musical instruments need to be able to vibrate in order to make sounds. Something has to vibrate. Hard, hard metal is not going to vibrate all that much. Something else has to do the vibrating. And on brass instruments like trumpet and trombone and baritone, what vibrates? It's our lips. You need to be able to buzz your lips like this. I'm going to wet them a little bit and I can buzz them. If you can't do that, if you can't buzz your lips, you're not going to be able to play the baritone horn. So you can practice it with me. Ready? Try it with me too. Just buzzing your lips. Once you can do that, you try it with your mouthpiece and you can get some musical sounds. Or something like this. Hmm, I just got two different sounds. I wonder how I did that. Well, if I want to get a lower sound on the baritone, I buzz my lips kind of in a loose way. I keep them loose when I buzz. If I want to get a higher sound, I buzz them tighter. So you're going to try that with me. We're going to do it where it will be my turn first and your turn second. We'll try to get low sounds and then we'll try to get high sounds. My turn first. Low sounds. Keep your lips loose. Your turn. Okay, let's tighten up our lips. See if we can get higher sounds, tighter sounds. My turn first. Your turn. Now, let's do some experimenting. We'll try to go from low to high. My turn first, low, low, high, which will be loose, loose, and tight. Your turn. 
<laughs> My turn. I'll go from high, high, and then low. Tight, tight, and then loose. My turn first. <laughs> Your turn. Let's see if we can do a little experimenting with this. We'll try to make it go from low to high and we'll slide it like this. And we'll try to make it go from low to high with our lips, making our lips loose and then tight. My turn first. Your turn. Now I'm going to go from high to low, so from tight to loose. My turn first. Your turn. Now something I want to point out when we're going from low to high and high to low. Very important to see just how much my head moves because when I go from low to high I've got to really move my head a lot. Maybe from high to low I've got to really move my head a lot. Watch how far my head moves when I go from low to high. Ready for this? Here goes my head. My turn. Here goes from high to low. Uh -huh. So how much did my head move? Uh, it doesn't move at all, does it? Very important when you play. I don't want you playing your baritone. Trying to move your head while you're getting a high-low sounds. Or even with your mouthpiece. Don't move your head up and down. That's not how you get high and low sounds. Loose and tight. Get your low and your high. Try the slide one more time with me. My turn first. Your turn. Now high to low. Get from tight to loose. My turn first. Your turn. If you can do that, you're doing great. You're going to be ready to play into your baritone. I'm going to try something else. I'm going to see if we can play a song with just our mouthpiece. Let's see if I can let's see if you recognize this. <laughs> see if you can do that. Did you recognize Happy Birthday? It's not easy, but see if you can try that with me. My turn, uh, your turn with me. See if we can play Happy Birthday with just our mouthpiece. It's going to start off low, so you're going to loosen, really loosen your lips at first. Here it goes. <laughs> so, happy birthday. This is something, again, you should do every single day. Your practicing should start with lip buzzing. Buzz some low sounds. Buzz, some buzz high sounds. Go from low to high. Go high to low. And play through happy birthday. About five minutes just buzzing into your mouthpiece. Now we're ready for the baritone horn. So I pick up this baritone horn. I can put this on my lap. I like to get my case out of my way so it's not in front of me. Now, once the case is out of my way, I can sit up nice and tall. Remember how I said earlier about sitting at the edge of your chair? You can have two feet flat on the floor. Now, depending, well, let's put our mouthpiece into our baritone first before I tell you that. When we put our mouthpiece in the horn, it's very important. We don't just flop it in there and then whap and hit it in. Very bad. If you do that, you're going to get the mouthpiece stuck. It's very important when you put the mouthpiece in, you push it in with a twist. When you take it out, you take it out with a twist. Just a little quarter of a twist is enough. So I push it in with a twist. That's in there. That's not going to fall out. All right. When I go to pull it out, I pull it out with a little twist and it twists right out. Very easy. In, push it in with a twist. Very easy. Out. Okay? So careful when you're putting it in. Don't jam it in there. If you hit it in there, you will hurt your baritone. You will get it stuck. And we don't want that. This is a very expensive instrument. Now, depending on the size of your baritone, you might have to hold it a couple different ways. Mine's fairly big. There are some that are, that are much bigger than this for baritones. Yours might be even smaller than this. 
So if it's very small, you might just hug it. You might have your hand all the way around it like this, and your other hand up in, up in here where, the, where these are called the valves. My right hand is going to go here. The rest of my body, mainly I'm just going to be hugging. You hug your baritone. You love your baritone. So hug your baritone. I've got my hand right here. I've got my other hand here. And you can hold the baritone up. This is the way I'll hold it. Okay, now I'm ready to play. So my hand all the way, all the way around here. Your baritone, maybe it's big enough that it actually rests on your lap. Okay? If it rests on your lap and it's very comfortable and you could still have your hand around here, you still have your right hand in here, then fine. You know, that, that will work fine. But look at this. If I were going to play this baritone, is this a good position for me to be in? Probably not because I have to reach down to get this. If you're having to reach down to, 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 to blow into your baritone horn, that's not a good position to be in, having to bend over. So you might actually put your hand or you might actually hold it up. Because this should come right up to your lips, you should be ready to go. Now, depending on where your valves are, that's where it is. Some, some of them don't have any pipes above them. Some of your valves might just be right on the very top part of your baritone. Either way, these three fingers are just going to float. Float, float, float. One, two, three, on top of the three valves. My thumb is going to go right underneath this little thumb, this little thumb hole here. And... Uh, I'm, I'm ready to go. One, two, three, right on top. Hug my baritone. And now, same thing as before. I want to be able to get low sounds. I want to be able to get high sounds. Buzzing. Wet my lips. And I'll see if I can get low sounds first. Listen first. I'll make my lips tighter, seeing if I can get some high sounds. If you can do that, wow, you're going to be an excellent baritone horn player. Let's see if you can do that together. I'll do it first, you'll do it second. We'll start with low sounds. My turn first. Your turn, give it a try. Let's see if you can get that high sound. You might not get this the first time. Give it a try. Tighten the lips up a little bit more. Nice and strong, get the high sound. My turn first. Your turn. Now before we continue, let me give you a little tip on getting the sound out, because we want a nice solid, a nice strong sound. And if I'm looking at this baritone, I'm thinking, wow, I'm blowing the air into this mouthpiece, and that that air, I wonder just how far does it have to go? Some people blow and the air goes maybe this far. And they're going to get a sound like this. If you're just blowing the air a little bit. And it's just this. It's not, they're not getting a great sound. Because look, look where this air has got to travel. I blow the air into the, into the horn. And wow, it comes down this pipe and it goes around this corner. It has to go up through here. It comes in through here. It goes around this corner. The air goes down through this pipe up through that pipe, in through here, over through there, down around this corner, up through there, around that corner, around that corner, down through there, around here, up through here, in through here, out through there, up through there, over there, around the corner, around the corner, and finally up out the bell. Whew! Holy cow! That air has got to travel a long way. Every time you go to blow into this baritone horn, I want you to think about that. You've got to fill up the horn with air. Think that you're filling the whole horn with air when you go to play it. So here we go again. We're going to get the low sound and the high sound. And really think you're filling the horn up with a nice strong sound. Low sound first. Loosen up the lips. My turn first, then yours. Your turn. Fill the horn up with air. Nice tight. <laughs> Tighten up those lips and see if you can get the high sound. My turn first. Let's go low, high, 
high, low, loose, tight, loose, a little trickier. Your turn. That's all I want from you right now, okay? If you can do that, wow, you are going to be an excellent baritone horn player. What is the one thing that you have not seen me do yet? What have I not been doing? I have not been pressing these keys. This is so important. For the first week or two, we are not going to be pressing these buttons. Why? Do we know how all these things work in here yet? Do we know what these notes are for? Not yet. And if you just start pressing these keys, Listen to this, you can hear something. If I start pressing these keys without knowing how to oil these first, you can hear something very important. Listen to what's happening to my baritone. It's going, ah, no, stop! Don't do it! Because you're hurting your baritone horn. This needs oil, just like a car. In a car, there's these little valves, just like this, little things called pistons that go up and down in your car, and they need oil. If you don't have oil, your car is going to die. Well, if these don't have the oil that they need, your baritone is you're hurting your baritone. Don't do it. I will teach you how to oil the valves very soon. In, a, in another couple weeks, we'll learn how to oil the valves. Then we'll learn about how to play all of these notes. In the meantime, for now, we don't press these, these buttons. We don't know what they're for. They're not going to do us any good. It's just going to hurt our, our baritone if we're playing with them now. So, what do we do? We practice for maybe five minutes, just buzzing in the mouthpiece. Uh, low sound, uh, tighten it up for high sounds. You can put it in, little half twist, hold the baritone horn, making sure you're sitting up tall, practice getting your low sounds, practice getting your high sounds. Watch your lips. Be five minutes spent with the whole baritone horn up. So that's about ten minutes. That's enough time right now. Right now, 10 minutes worth of practicing, and then put your baritone away, okay? Um, once we learn some more notes, we learn how to oil this, and we learn how to, how to get some notes, and we learn how to read music, well, then you can maybe practice 15, 20 minutes each night, okay? I'm ready to put the baritone horn away. Well, there's one more thing that I, that I need to show you. When we're blowing air through our horn, we're getting a little bit of moisture from our breath, and it builds up on the inside of our horn. After a while, there, there's going to be a little bit of water in there, and we have to be able to let it out. See the little little button down here? This is called this is called a water key, and we're going to get the water out through this. Now I don't want to just press the button and let the water dribble all over Mom's carpet. No, get a little tissue or something like that, a couple tissues, and I'll put it right underneath there. I'm going to press this key, and when I do press the key, I'm going to blow through the, the, the baritone with just my breath. I'm just going to go, I'm not going to buzz, I'm not going to make a noise with my baritone, I'm just going to blow air and blow any water in here out of this little, out of this little key onto here. Okay? See if anything comes out right now. I don't know if there's anything, anything will just yet. So nothing really today. There wasn't anything in there today. But uh, I haven't been playing for all that long. You, you will have sometimes nothing, sometimes there'll be a little water in there. But it's important I get rid of that water every time before I put the baritone away. Okay? So now I'm ready to put it away. I take my mouthpiece out with a twist, put my mouthpiece out, and I carefully put the baritone back in the case. It only goes in one way. Put it in gently. This is a very expensive instrument. Put the case down. Make sure you get all of the latches. Don't forget any of the latches that may be around the side. There might be one over here on the side. Okay? And you're all set to put it away for another day. Alright. Nice job.